Being on a constant diet all year round, seeing no results? No matter how effective you lose, gain or maintain weight, it's always crucial to know what's good and bad food for you. You might believe the difference between healthy and unhealthy foods may be pretty simple to distinguish. It's genuinely not as straightforward as you think. Welcome to Top 5 to 30 of Everything! It's easy to get confused with the surplus of food options available in the US. In this video, you'll find out the top 7 foods most people don't know are actually bad for you. It's gonna be surprising, promise. So make sure to watch till the end. Number 7. Fat-free foods. Foods with the fat-free labeling are often the most misleading info. Sometimes fat-free or fat-reduced often do mean that the food is heavily processed. However, it's because foods that are fat-free or fat-reduced may become bland, tasteless, or less attractive. It leads to refined and unnatural extras adding up in your food. So if you spend some time and break down the nutritional content, fat-free foods may be higher in calories and unhealthy ingredients. Number 6. Diet Soda Diet sodas are trending because not only do they contain no sugar, but if you check the nutritional label, they're also deficient in calories. Thanks to the word diet, diet sodas are a popular alternative to regular sugary sodas. However, despite being low in sugar, diet sodas have an abundance of added chemicals and artificial flavors that can damage your body in the long term. The best solution to curbing soda drinking is to stop it altogether. Number 5. Margarine we all know that butter has plenty of saturated fat and isn't the right choice for your toast or cooking ingredients. Sometimes margarine comes in as a healthy alternative. Margarine truly has significantly less fat than butter, but that doesn't make it more nutritious. Butter is made of natural sources. On the other hand, margarine is made from multiple vegetable oils and chemicals to make it look and taste good. Number 4. Breakfast Cereals we should be clear that definitely not all breakfast cereals fall into the unhealthy category, but most. Breakfast cereals are typically marketed as a healthier breakfast choice. Cereal is extremely popular in the US and worldwide for its convenience to prepare and an abundance of vitamins, minerals, and health benefits such as whole grain, low fat, and high fiber. In fact, most breakfast cereals are heavily processed with added chemicals, artificial additives, and refined grains. Number 3. Dried Fruits and Veggies Dried fruits and vegetables are pre-packaged and highly convenient to eat, as there's literally no preparation time. Unless you're making your own dried fruits and vegetables, most pre-packaged sorts are loaded with added salts and sugars. Undoubtedly, dried fruits and vegetables will never look good or taste good compared to when they're fresh. Number 2. Protein and Nutrition Bars before we move on to protein and nutrition bars, let's clarify that we can't assume all of them are bad for you. Protein and nutrition bars can have abundant healthy nutrients such as protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. The drawback with protein and nutrition bars is that they are highly processed with additives and high in calories and can make you gain undesired weight. Number 1. Processed Fruit Juices Fruit juice is one of the most typical food and beverage items discussed when it comes to anything to do with diet. Although there are numerous upsides to fruit juice, the general consensus calls that it's terrible for you. Fruit juices that declare their 100% pure juice and organic are still likely to have added sugar. If you notice the nutrition labels, most fruit juices have the same if not more calories than regular sodas. But what are the healthy alternatives for all of our beloved food and drinks listed in the video? We suggest you drink water, soda water, coffee or tea. Adding a piece of lemon to water or soda water can also provide a burst of flavor. Indeed, some fruit juices have been shown to have health benefits despite their sugar content, like pomegranate and blueberry juices. However, these should be considered exclusive supplements, not an everyday part of your diet. Talking about cereals, choose breakfast cereals that are high in fiber and low in added sugar. Better yet, make your own oat porridge from scratch. Despite your diet, you must visit restaurants from time to time. But don't worry, some restaurants offer healthier ingredients. Homemade pizzas can also be very beneficial, as long as you choose wholesome ingredients. Also, after mounting pressure, many fast food chains have started offering healthy options. If you're a fan of a morning toast and tolerate gluten, Ezekiel bread is an excellent choice. Plus, whole grain bread is healthier than white bread. 
In case you want to eat bacon, sausages, or pepperoni, try to buy from local butchers who don't add many unhealthy ingredients. If you want to remove sugar from your diet but can't stay away from dessert, choose Greek yogurt, fresh fruit, or dark chocolate. While you're on a low-carb diet, aim for naturally low foods and carbs, including eggs, seafood, and leafy greens. To improve your health, choose milder and healthier cooking methods such as boiling, stewing, blanching, and steaming. Here are three final things to keep in mind. Moderation is the key. Should you avoid junk food at all costs? Can you? <laughs> Come on, we're all human. It's normal to eat a little junk food now and then, but knowing how much you can eat is the key. Have a bit on occasion, while having a healthy diet is the best way to go. Exercise is still crucial for any diet. You need to be exercising, no matter what you're eating. The US has abundant fitness resources such as parks, walking tracks, and recreational gym facilities. So, irrespective of whether your diet is clean or dirty, you should have some form of physical activity in your lifestyle. Always watch what you eat. The best way to understand what your body is using is by checking nutritional labels when possible. This can help you count your calories, ensure a balanced diet, and monitor all the little additives, ingredients you didn't know were present. By having a better knowledge of foods, you won't be tricked by other foods that didn't make this list of foods you didn't know were truly unhealthy. But what do you think? That was a bit shocking, right? How many foods you never knew were harmful? Do you have something to add to our list? Share your experience in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content I send your way.